So welcome to the first of a series of videos detailing the core capabilities of the Meniscus Analytics platform and focusing on the IoT type uh, capabilities for creating applications that would that can set up hundreds or thousands of meters in this case electricity meters and all of those meters are created from a template in which we can create using this web client uh, application a series of the items we're using to build up each of those particular meters so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click on my IoT test this is my user and I'm going to create an entity model now this allows me to uh, set up the the core entities the entities and the templates and, and is a placeholder within uh, map so I'm just going to create uh, and I'm going to create this uh, call this uh, a test uh, entity so this is my first model that I'm going to build so you can see here I've got an I uh, my, my, my test model I've just created and in here I've got uh, no entities and I've got no templates so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to create a new uh, template in here so click on that and I'm going to create a new group in here and I'm going to call this group uh, meter test sorry meter template it's going to be yeah, meter template so this is going to be my template I'm going to hold for my meters so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create in here a the first item in my template and it's just going to be a raw item and that's um, we're going to just call it sorry raw data and this is going to be a my first placeholder and into which I can create the underlying raw data or I can load up the raw data into map so that's my uh, first item and I'm, that's just enough for, for, for the first example I'm going to do um, so what I'm going to show you now we, we in in map we can load everything all our entities using configuration files so this is a configuration file in Excel it's a CSV type uh, file just just a standard file these are the individual fields that we're going to load in so the key ones that we have to, to, to create in here are uh, uh, so this is our customer ID our IOT test customer ID this is the name of our model uh, and we get this from here so if I click on here that's our name of our model is test entity model this is our templated entity the the name of our t the template which is in this case we we called it entity um, meter template so that's effectively the data structure I'm going to we're going to, to use to import so I'm now going to go to our, our, our standard uh, user interface this is another uh, dashboard application and in this dashboard application I've logged in as IOT test I'm in an administrator role and I've got the ability to go in and import a file so I'm going to select the import the, my, my, my CSV file to import and that's imported successfully so now I can go back into uh, the client I'm going to click on test and I can look at these entities so, th so these are the the, f the five uh, example meters that I created and you'll see that that's the name of them and if I go into each one we can look at the details so if I look at that particular the first one you can see here that I've got a sorry there's no data in there is it, there's a raw entity uh, raw data item which has been entered um, it has no specific details to it because we didn't have we didn't create them but the importantly it's it's you can see down here we had this thing called a meter alias so this this is effectively sorry this is just minimize that a bit more oops not maximize it so you can see here this is the uh, this, the same as the we I've just set it up the same as the uh, the name of the item and this is actually will be used to import data so when map looks to import the data into this particular model it'll be using this as the uh, the unique alias so what I'm just now going to do we're going to just m make one change in here we're going to go in and we're going to add into the templates we're now going to add in a new item and that's going to be we're going to create it as an aggregated item and we're just going to set this up as a uh, consumption item we're going to call it so this is going to be turning our raw data into into use 
and in this item we're going to set up some of the properties of this item now the first thing we're going to do we're just going to set this up as hourly data and we're going to set this up as what's called an, uh, an incrementing meter so it's this is a, a counting type meter so the raw data is going to come in and it's going to be one two three four five and the next reading is one two three four eight and the difference is the is the is the consumption value between the, those two two values so we we classify that as an incrementing type um, item so now if I go and uh, select that same file again so I'm going to re-import the file I've just uh, created it's uh, that's it's it's created now so if we go back into map now we can go back and look at the entities uh, we can see we've still got five except now I've got two items created and importantly here the source data has automatically been picked up that it's using this raw data source here so what we've done we've created five um, simple entities so these can be meters or whatever they, they are they're, they're entities all of those have been created from this entity template into which we have created two particular items now what I'm now just going to do to show you the scaling of, of map is I'm going to t I've got a, a another Excel file which I uh, I did create earlier um, but on this one it has something like 3,000 entities so you've got about I think there's 3,000 entities in here so what I'm now going to just do here is I'm going to go back into the client app, this uh, dashboard application. I'm going to choose a file, which is the test2 one, and it's going to starting to import. So what we can now go down in, in, is when we go into our test, we go into the entities, we can start to see that we've, we've created, we've already created 416 entities. If we go back out and we go back in again, we've now created 809. So all the time we're creating we're rapidly creating new entities all the time and it'll take just a minute or two to create those 3000 entities so go back in so we've now created 16 1600 of them and each one of them has those two uh, items that we created in the template so that's the f the end of our first video the next videos we'll just explore creating more uh, items in the template applying those uh, more and more but actually starting to create some more complex calculations in there so thanks very much indeed for your time uh, and look forward to uh, speaking to you more on the next video